What's up guys, Black Horse here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2019-4 episode number 16 of the Baron McLaren career mode but mainly for the final episode uh, regarding the Giro d'Italia, a Giro in which we are currently sitting in 4th position with Damino Caruso but we just hit our fitness peak. We have 5 stages left, all 5 stages will be in today's episode starting with this mountain stage between Comezadura and Interselva. We'll then have a sprint stage between the Val d'Ora and Santa Maria di Salla. Another mountain stage, Trevizzo, San Martino di Castrozza. Another mountain stage between Feltren, Croce Daune, and finally a time trial between Verona and Verona. It's going to be a, a, an action-packed episode. And without further ado, let's jump in. In stage 17, we have a podium to get. Let's make sure to do the right thing. All right, we're on the way for this stage. Um... Plus 3 for Damiano Caruso, what does that mean? That means 80 mountain, okay. Not bad, not bad. Uh, already some attacks, I'm gonna guess someone from UAE will go in the break at one point. Uh, oh, there he is. And it's Jan Polank, yoohoo! Actually, it's not the one I thought it was gonna be. I was expecting Caruso or Ulisi, but sure, I can get on board with Jan Polank. There's, there's Ulisi. Um, Alright, now. It's... It's a very long state, well, it's a very long false flat from like the, the intermediate sprint of Brunico. It just keeps on climbing for 30 kilometers and then there's the climb of Interselva. Uh, now, if Peyo can hold on to like, he, he lost his fitness peak. So I'm going to guess this is his final day of fitness peak. Like he's lost the effects, the effect, sorry, from like two, yesterday's to today's stage. So, I need to make the most out of his uh, fitness today. Punchliner plus 2, that's decent. Whirlpool plus 1, that's decent. Uh, although, I'm going to have to be honest, they've been absolutely useless during this race. Like, genuinely useless. Every time I needed them, they were dropped. Or every time I was pacing with them, they were destroying everyone. E well, sorry, they, were not, they weren't destroying everyone except uh, Caruso. So, yeah. I don't really know what to what to uh, think about their performances during this race. Um, but 166 kilometers to go. A lot of riders are attacking. There goes the uh, mountain leader, Davide, uh, no, um, Davide Formolo, in the breakaway. We're not going to be following this because we've got a GC to figure out well. All right, I just realized something. Uh, okay, just Primo Roglic has just crashed. Okay, uh, why not? That is not what I realized. Uh, I did say that Formolo was in the break because there was the uh, mountain classification leader guy. He is not leading the mountain classification anymore. It's, Henry, it's actually Henrik Mass, because uh, Formolo was genuinely right next to me because he crashed. Uh, a lot of riders did crash. Carapaz has been on the ground. Zakarin has been on the ground. Uh, Roglic now. Uh, I think Adam Yates also crashed. They are, they're all fine, I think, uh, I believe. But uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're all Gucci. The only one that is missing would be Roglic, technically, but he's going to come back eventually. Um, speaking of coming back, uh, we are coming back on the breakaway. Minutes, uh, the gap now is 2 minutes and 50 seconds for uh, a two-man group, Andrea Vendrame and Henrik Mas. Then you have Tom Schunz uh, in pursuit with Jan Polank and Carlos Alberto Betancourt. Then uh, the peloton led by Dylan Van Barl and the uh, team Ineos. We still have Wapuls and Pansteiner for once. Uh, they've been there to protect Bilbao and Caruso. I feel like it's a working strategy. Hopefully, we'll see. Uh, we'll see it pay off during the uh, the climbs. The, the climb, sorry, towards uh, Interselva. But uh, there's still a long way to go until then, and the peloton is uh, accelerating yet again under Yanni Moscon's influence. And surprisingly enough, Andra van Drame just dropped Henrik Mas. So I've, I, I'm guessing that Henrik Mas is trying, like, is starting to struggle, uh, being in the breakaway literally every day of the week. Um, he's going to be uh, happy with uh, tomorrow's sprint stage, though. He'll be able to rest. Uh, but he is now one minute behind Vendrame, and he is two minutes ahead of the peloton. Peloton now led by uh, the uh, Mitchelton Scott team of Adam Yates. We are uh, at the f somewhat at the front of the peloton, and mainly we have... A lot of energy again, which is absolutely perfect for us. Uh, so yeah, Bilbo and Caruso, top job for now for for them. Uh, the climb towards Interselva actually starts now, technically. Is that an attack from Miguel? Alfred? Nope, it's just Felinigo at the front. Um, 
it's a climb that kind of suits uh, Bilbao more than it suits Caruso in the way that it's rather steep. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'll be able to do something with Domino knowing that he's got a, a fitness peak going on. At least that I'm, I'm hoping for. Right, 4.4 km to go. We're going to catch Andrea Vendrame. Uh, attack from Miguel Angel Lopez here. Okay, I thought Carapaz was going to follow and then he really backed off. Okay, interesting. Uh, but yeah, Bilbao is now at the one pacing. Uh, Caruso is well and truly in the wheel. I feel like Damino can do something today. I feel like Damino has the legs to do something good today. Now the question is, uh, do I have better legs than the other guys? Hopefully yes. There is uh, only 7 points to take at the summit of Antarselva. So even for the, uh, um, from a uh, mountain classification standpoint, it's not a great, great thing. A uh, great thing. We are dropping, though, a few riders here and there. There goes Nicola Conchi. Uh, there goes Mr. Diego Ulissi. Uh, but mainly, we still have Diego, uh, Miguel Angel Lopez in the lead. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch the guy. Let's try to follow Tom Dumoulin, uh, who is genuinely catching the guy. And Miguel Angel Lopez has now been dropped. Damien Caruso starts his effort. Carapaz is gone. Damiano, Car um, Damiano Carapaz? No, Dam um, Richard Carapaz dropped a bit. It's a win for Dumoulin ahead of Caruso, Yates, Lopez, Puduvon. Carapaz showed a few signs of weakness. He is showing weakness. We're going to get six seconds back on the Ecuadorian. Uh, so we're now going to be three minutes and 13 seconds behind Dumoulin. Carapaz will be 310 and uh, Adam Yates will be 303, I believe. So... We are sticking to a, what, an 8 second gap now, I think. Right, so if we weren't sure enough already, Tom Dumoulin is going to win this Giro d'Italia unless he crashes out. Domenico Caruso comes in second today with Adam Yates in third. Uh, and there is indeed an 8 second gap between Adam Yates and Damiano Caruso now. Uh, the battle for second is frightening, and I love that. Uh, Alright, up next, Valdora Santa Maria Sala. We'll go very quickly through that stage because I'm eager to continue the mountain. It's a plus 5 for Caruso. It's a shame that it's a sprint stage. Um, plus 3 for Colbrelli though. Plus 3 for Hausler. Plus 2 for Bauhaus. We might be looking at a, yet another W for the Baron McLaren boys. But they'll be in 216 kilometers. See you then. Right, there's nearly 100k to go. And uh, I mean the breakaway is 17 minutes in the lead. And I sent Wout Pulse. I regret not sending Bilbao. Because that, that would have been an incredible comeback in the GC for him. Uh, but And also for like the sprint. Because there's a lot of decent sprinters here. Cra oh, no, 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 uh, okay. Marco Hala, Panstana, Hausler. You're gonna pace one. Oh, it's another crash here. Phil Bauhaus, co in the incident. Uh, Dan Martin as well. Juliensen, Andre Zeitz. Phil Bauhaus is retiring. Phil Bauhaus is out of the Giro d'Italia. Okay. Okay. This is definitely not how I pictured this stage. Phil Bauhaus is out of the Giro, although I don't need him uh, per, so, per se, but still, it is quite shit. Uh, I need water, mate. Heinrich, get water. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, breakaway is now 16 minutes clear. Uh, we'll be fighting for the win. Some decent sprinters, as I was saying. Uh, you have the likes of Nicolas Mace, and Matteo Pellucci and Oliver Nazan. Uh, who are much quicker than I am. And there's another crash. Ilnor Zakarin this time is going down, uh, has gone down. Uh, I don't understand why there's so many crash. It's it's an open road. I get it, it's raining, but it's an open road. Also, attacks up front. Floris de Thier made the first move. Uh, it's a smart play, but it's far from the line. Uh, you need to hold on for 20k, 20 kilometers when you have the likes of Oliver Nazan chasing you down, Ben King, World Pulse. This is not going to be an easy task at all for Floris de Thier. Uh, but I read the efforts. I planned on attacking later as well, if I'm honest. 
so we'll see if that works out well for the Belgian rider for Alpes and Phoenix. And again, a huge crash in the peloton. Edouard turns. The white jersey is down. Roglic. Roglic is down. Uh, did, 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 did anyone retiring? Uh, nope. Okay. But there was this group. Uh, wait, Rondonis. Bernal. Oh, yeah, Bernal has dropped. He's not down, but he's dropped. Bernal and Enric Mast. Okay, nice. Love that. Uh, 8k to go in the meantime in the breakaway. Why is no one attacking? Like, surely someone like, uh, where is he? Ben King. He's got everything, to, like Ben King or UC Pro Match. They have everything to play for. Why, do, why don't they attack? If I attack, uh, if I attack on my own, I know I'm finished. I think I left it too late to attack now. We'll take the wheel of Oliver Nazan, but we are, we will not be winning. We are not winning today's stage. We are not winning today's stage. I don't understand why no one attacked except Floris de Thiers. I probably could have attacked like when we cut when we cut him, but I thought that 10k was uh, just n too too far away from the line. Okay. Oh wow, Nazan has started early his sprint. That is an early start from Oliver Nazan. And Yossi Promach cannot actually follow. And the win today will be for Nicolas Mace ahead of... Ma oh, actually, no, Matteo Pellucci ahead of uh, Ben King and Wout Pulse. Okay, I'll take a third place on the sprint. What's happening? Why is there so many groups being dropped here and there? I'm so confused. Like, genuinely confused. Uh, but anyway, we're going to make our train. Uh, Marco Haddock fit in this one. Thank you. Um, I mean, if we could drop, an, if we can drop like Ingen Banal, that'd be nice. Um, yeah, no, no one else. There's uh, Enric Mas, apparently. Enric Mas did not learn his lesson. Like The guy was dropped a few kilometers ago. You should have figured out that maybe you should have gone higher in the peloton in order, in order not to get dropped again but no he did not think about that uh is there a lot of points to take today hmm, not many let's have a uh, mr payo bolbao starting his efforts on the left uh yeah we'll do that we'll go like that all right bilbao house local rally i'm gonna take this left hander it's gonna be a very quick finish uh it's just really just made so that I can uh, take some points and fight off Elia Viviane. Uh, Viviane rules this... Oh, actually he doesn't. Nope. Colbrelli does. No? Okay, wow. Viviane, Colbrelli, Bennett. Uh, okay, nice. Alright, win for Bardiani today and Matteo Pellucci, 11 minutes ahead of the peloton. Oliver Nassen honestly has one of the worst strategies I have seen in a while. He was the second, well, the, the tied best sprinter in the break. So what he decided to do is launch his sprint more than two kilometers away from the line. Why? Uh, I don't think they counted any gaps. They did not. Three withdrawal. Um, Mori van Sevenant, Stefan de Bod, and Phil Bauhaus, sadly, who will not see the end of this. Year. Oh, my God. Primus Roglic lost three minutes and a half. Actually, why do I care? He's already out of the top. How is Bilbao 14th? Something doesn't make sense. I swear Bilbao was like... Gone. I don't understand this game sometimes. I thought like Bilbao was... Fully out of... Like he was 18th or something. Or maybe I gained time yesterday stage. I don't know. Anyway. Um, Treviso San Martino di Castrozza. Let's go. It's another mountain stage on this Giro, stage 18 now. Um, we are entering the uh, well, the final four days of uh, of this Giro d'Italia. And it could not be any closer at the top. Uh, I mean, if you remove the fact that someone has literally a three-minute lead over everyone else, this GC is nuts. There's eight seconds separating Adam Yates, Carapaz, and myself with Damino Caruso. If you had told me when when I started this that I would be fighting for a podium, I'd have signed immediately. That would be fight actually that, that would get fourth place. I would have signed, but now that I know that I could fight for a podium, I 
obviously, I obviously want to get more. Uh, plus five for Damiano Caruso. The hit that I made, this fitness peak is on another level. This is madness. I mean, I love it. I'm, I'm all for it. But this is nuts. If I play my cards right today, I think we could fight for... If the breakaway doesn't win, I think we can fight for the win today. Um, um, someone crashed, and that's Yates, isn't it? Yates has just crashed with someone else important, um, and they're not pacing. Who's that other person? I I can't see him anymore, but I know someone else has crashed. Uh. What's happening? Is it Miguel? Uh, it has to be Miguel Lopez. It is. There's 26 kilometers to go. Ineos, why aren't you getting a move on? Like, you're literally the, be the, the team that should be doing this. If there's one team that could, like, profit from this situation, it's you. Yet, you're not pacing. Uh, back in the days, I would have paced, but now I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good human, and I don't want to do that anymore. Also, I don't have uh, any... Actually, I could have, I could have paced if I'm honest. I could have paced with World Pulse and Benchliner. Yeah. Do I regret it? Yeah. Should have done that. Uh, that was my chance, maybe to uh, to beat Mr. Yates. But all right, let's go. Uh, Benchliner will be starting the the the, the choo choo train with a uh, World Pulse, Pierre Bow, and Dominic Caruso. And right from the get go, right from the get go, Richard Carapaz has made a move. This is really early on for him. This is really early on. I'm actually surprised by that. Or that that kind of caught me off guard. Uh, I mean, why not? It's it's ballsy. And to be fair, knowing him, he's probably got like two or three more attacks in the in the tank. But that's yeah, ballsy move. Also, uh, is that six riders? That actually no, that's seven. That's the entire team of Ineos in the first ten riders of the peloton. <laughs> ah, why? What an incredible team! Um, can I not like take position behind Yanni Moscon for a second? Thank you very much, Mr. Bell, Mr. Payable Bow. Is oh, attack from Carapaz? Okay, what's 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 next then? What's gonna happen? Dumoulin is going to make his team work, which is expected. Obviously, Roglic... Oh, wow, it's Lorenz de Plus, actually, who managed to catch um, good, old, um, good old Carapaz. Okay, 23 riders left in this group. Uh, we are the only one who haven't... I mean, no, actually, no one's made a move except from Carapaz, so... We're going to make a move, though. We're going to make a move. I don't know when, but we're making a move. How about now? How about right now with uh, Mr. Damiano Caruso? Attack from Caruso. Attack by Damiano Caruso, and it's a big one. It is a big attack here. No one is directly following. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We might be looking at something here. The win today for... Julio Ciccone ahead of Valentin Madouas, Jan Polank, Demarki, Hermans, Dombrowski, Zander Arme, Betancourt. Uh, I'm out of energy. I am well and truly out of energy, and Tom Dumoulin will catch me and will overtake me. And what? Oh, whoa, 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 Carapaz, Carapaz cannot follow. Carapaz cannot follow. And this is huge. This is huge for the first time. In history, it's not going to start raining men. But Damiano Caruso will gain time on Carapaz. And where's Yates? Where? Adam? Adam. Adam Yates has thrown it off. He's out. Well, I think that's I think that's over for Adam Yates. His hopes of a Giro podium have been thrown out of the window. All right, she couldn't take the win, but that is not where the important stuff is. Tenth place, Damiano Caruso. There is a gap on Dumoulin, but mainly there's a gap on Richard Carapaz. And there is an even bigger gap on Adam Yates. Two minutes on Adam Yates. Two minutes and a half on Adam Yates. We are... Oh, we're, we're in this. We are in this shit. We're, we're finishing second of this Giro. We're going to get second of this Giro. 
I just need to hold on for the stage of the uh, Croce Down and I'll be done. Uh, but good win today for uh, for Giulio Ciccone. Uh Mountain wise, yeah, it's going to be uh, Enric Mars. There's no way I'm catching him. Uh, however, I need to hold on for Tom Dumoulin. But there is one more mountain stage. Feltre Croce Down. Let's go. It is the final stage of this Giro, the final road stage, sorry, of this Giro. Uh, and it is between Feltre and the Croce Down, a stage um, that I usually like uh, when I have a good team and good leaders. And although I do have the Minica Reserve, the rest of my team is looking quite weak today. And I am quite scared because I'm not in the position I thought I would be. Um, I mean, I did say I was going to fight for a GC position around the top 10. I'm fighting for second place here. Yeah. This is completely unheard of. Well, not unheard of, but it just isn't something I had planned. And I'm, I, I, it's not that I'm not comfortable in this position, but I just don't really know what's going to happen. Because uh, I know this stage by heart for having done madnesses on it. Uh, uh, this stage, my like... If you haven't seen my videos on the Giro with Baron with Baron Merida at the time, just if you have one stage to watch, just one, stage twenty of my Giro between Feltren and uh, Croce Down, it is, and I'm not making this up for you to like watch my videos or something. It is the maddest stage I have ever had in ten years of playing PCM. I'm I'm serious, like. I have, I, to this day, I still, it's one of the only videos of mine that I, I watch back and that I actually can't understand, I can't fathom what happened. So, yeah, this stage, I know you can do crazy shit on it, but you can do crazy shit when you have a good team around you, which is not the case today. However, it is the case for Richard Carapaz, and that's what I'm scared of. I'm scared that Ineos and Jumbo are going to destroy me by just being them, being Ineos. And I could, I, I mean, I'm second right now, okay? I feel like the podium is genuinely within reach. I don't think I'll lose two minutes on a, someone like Adam Yates. Um, what could genuinely happen, though, is I could lose two minutes on Carapaz. And if the Peterson starts pacing in the first climb, it's not going to be a good day for me at all today. Uh, but we have a five-man breakaway with Valentin Madouas, Enric Mars, the current leader of the mountain classification. I believe that mathematically speaking, he's not safe, but he will most likely win this this um, jersey. There's uh, what, that's 28, that's 42, that's 74 points. Uh, that's 106 points to take today. So there's Ulissi, Caruso, Benut and Formolo that could beat Enric Mars. Only, well, none of them are in the break today. So I think Enric Mas is safe and that he's going to win uh, the uh, the Cyclamen jersey. No, sorry, the Azura jersey. I'll try and win the Cyclamen one with Domenico Rizzo. Uh But yeah, this is not going to be a, a great day for me at all today. Uh, Bilbao as well has lost his fitness peak. Uh, hopefully he'll be able to, uh, to be of help towards the end of the stage. Because if Caruso is on his own, I'm really not looking forward to the final climb. Alright, we're approaching the summit of the uh, Paso Mangen now. Uh, at least the Peloton is, because the breakaway is already well and truly in its descent. Uh, Enric Mas has now officially confirmed that he will be the um, mountain leader at the end of this Giro, should he finish the race, obviously. He's got 105 kilometers to do, and uh, this man will have win. Will have won, sorry, uh, a... Um, a distinctive jersey on the Grand Tour, which will be great for uh, for Enric Mas. Uh, also, current, if I don't know if this breakaway will go to the end, I don't think it will. But should it will, should it go to the end, Enric Mas currently has a seven minute lead in the best Rangers classification over over um, again Bernal. I I just wanted to point that out. So yeah, there's a lot of things to play for today. Uh, Valentin Madouas. And, uh, and Enric Mas could make a very nice comeback GC-wise. Like, as it stands right now, they'd be... So they gained 10 minutes, uh, 12 minutes, yeah, 13 minutes now, even actually crashed in the peloton. And um, Esteban Chavez and uh, Alexander Kamp, anyone else? 
uh, involved in an incident. The answer appears to be yes, Dylan Van Baal. And Dylan Van Baal is out of the Giro. He needed 111 kilometers left. And he did not do it. Uh, but yeah, coming back on the Mad West and, and Enric Mas, should they win, they could potentially try and reach the top 15, currently uh, held by Peyo Bilbao. We'll see. We'll see what happens. However, good thing for me uh, that Mr. Van Baal is gone. That's one less teammate to worry about for Richard Carapaz. It's hammer time in the peloton. We started the Paso Role and uh, Ineos helped by Yombo, which is odd. Is now pacing. Why is Jum Why is Yumbo pacing? Like Ineos, I get that because they could. I mean, they're currently losing the jersey, the uh, best rider jersey to Egan Bernal. Sorry, to Henrik Mas. But Yumbo, I don't see any threat to them. I mean, sure, Primoz Roglic is losing one position. But is that is that really a big deal? Right, 25k to go, breakaway is 12 minutes in the lead. I believe that Egan Bernal is going to lose his uh, white jersey on this on today's stage. Uh, it's a two-man group at the front, Henrik Mas and Valentin Madouas. And I have to say, all right, if Henrik Mas drops that drops because he's done too much effort or anything, he could potentially lose his jersey to Valentin Madouas. Uh, withdrawing again in Peloton, that's Stan de Wulf. Uh, but yeah, Valentin Madouas is a direct threat to uh, Henrik Mas for the GC and for the white jersey. Now, this is where things are going to get really, really inter interesting here. We're going to start the Croce down it. Uh, we're going to have Bilbao on protection on the Mr. Damiano Caruso. Actually, no, shut no, 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 no. We're going to have Pernsteiner on Caruso, Weltpools on Bilbao, and um, we're going to try and protect our two guys as much as we can. Uh, knowing that Yanni Moscon is now uh, pacing really aggressively with Kudkowski and Ron Dennis in the wheel. Antoine Toulouk, Lorenz de Plus, Pavel Sivakov, Primo Stroglic. These guys would genuinely like, they, they, they could be high leaders in my team. Like, Sivakov is one of my targets, I believe, for next season. Um, I'm trying to uh, like see what happens up at uh, the front as well. Oh. The gap has really lowered. They've lost three minutes already. They've lost three minutes already. The the duo of um of Valentin Madoas and Enric Mas. Okay, I think Bernal is going to do everything in his possible to retain his jersey. That would make sense to be honest. Fourteen k to go. Uh, we're about to start the genuinely steep portion. Of this climb, uh, I'm making sure that Caruso and Bilbao hang on at the front of the st uh, of the peloton here. Cheers, uh, was that Sepkus? Yeah, it was. Well, thank you, Seb, for blocking me. I really appreciate that. Uh, Pernsteiner and Workpools are going to have uh, their job finished now. Nice one. Attack at the front, Henrik Mas. He's going to drop Valentin Madouas uh, for both the K women, actually, the stage win, I think. Although the peloton is coming back very quickly. Again, six minutes. Is that an attack from Carapaz? It is. It is an attack from Richard Carapaz, uh, an attack that I, I decided not to follow. Uh, I'm trying to... Uh, wait, where's Dumoulin? Oh, Dumoulin is in a bad position, you know. Dumoulin is in a bad position. Oh, wow. Interesting. I don't know what's gonna, what he's going to do. Oh, but he is not where I expected him to be. Good attack though from uh, from Carapaz and Miguel Angel Lopez. Bilbao has finished his work. Uh, Dumoulin is going to make us come back on the left hand side of the road. There he is. Okay. Um, I mean, to be fair, you know what? I, just, I can't really catch Carapaz. He's he's just too good. And if I try to catch him, um, I will most likely destroy myself. It's fine. Even if I finish third of the Giro, I'll take it. I will happily take third. It's better than nothing. Meanwhile, up there, what's happening? Enric Mas is in the lead. Valentin Madouas is trying to come back, if that's a slight lay, but I'm not sure he'll have uh, what it what it demands, what it takes. Um, okay. The final climb is 5.3 kilometers, kilometers long. We're going to rest a bit. Uh, let me just do one thing. Let's have the gap between... Oh, is that Yates? 
Adam Yates is dropped. Adam Yates is dropped, and that's that's massive. That is massive. Adam Yates is dropped. We're gonna just have the time gap between uh, Henrik Mass and Egan Bernard to see if he can come back and get the uh, best young rider uh, jersey. Caruso in the wheel of uh, Roglic, Tom Dumoulin. We're gonna catch Richard Carapaz, which is absolutely humongous. Humongous, sorry. Okay. Oh, everyone is slowing down. Even Tom Dumoulin, who appears to be uh, maybe uh, feeling it, feeling uh, the legs are maybe a bit a bit tougher, a bit tough for Tom Dumoulin. Let's attack with Damien Caruso. Just, just a little attack. Just to see what what could happen. Okay, now Dumoulin just he he just took some time, but he's gonna be he's gonna catch us. Okay. Well, che cheers, uh, cheers, Tom. I appreciate that. But uh, he's showing signs of weakness. He is showing signs of weakness. The uh, the young Tom Dumoulin. There he is. He's dropped. He's dropped. If only he did not have a three minute lead over us, that would have been absolutely great. Um, but we are going to drop Bernal. We're going to drop Dumoulin. Hopefully, we're not going to get dropped by uh, Richard Carapaz, and we're going to be able to stay with him, which would be genuinely great. Um, but yeah, Tom Dumoulin is human. He is well and truly human. Uh, let's use our energy gel. We're gonna most likely win, a, like gain a minute on uh, on Dumoulin. The win today will be for Valentin Madouas, uh, unless he cracks, but he does not. Valentin Madouas wins at the Croce Downe ahead of Enric Mas. Then uh, Carapaz, Lopez, and Caruso will fight for uh, the um, third position. It will be Carapaz, then myself. Then Lopez, Guillaume Martin, Roglic de plus, a group with Tom Dumoulin. He's going to lose uh, about a minute. About a minute on us. It's a shame he's got such a, a, a huge GC lead. But Dumoulin is going to win this uh, Giro and Bernal will win the uh, best rider classification. Best young rider, sorry. It's a French win on this uh, stage number 20 of the Giro d'Italia. Valentin Madouas ahead of Henrik Mas, Richard Carapaz, Damien Caruso will lose 19 seconds. On, uh, on Tom Dumoulin, we gained two minutes on him. Wow. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's mad. That's... Yo, the, oh, it's incredible for the suspense. Tom Dumoulin has a 1 minute 28 lead over Carapaz and myself. Carapaz and I are in the exact same second as we head towards the final time trial of this duo between Verona and Verona. I'm, I'm loving this. He is our first rider to start his time trial. He'll also be the first rider from the team to finish this 2020 Giro d'Italia. And it is a, a very important day for us. I don't think I could have scripted that. Uh, I don't think there could have been anything like this is completely mad. We are in the same exact second after 20 stages. Damiano Caruso and Richard Carapaz are in the same time. And let me just check one thing. Uh, where was the... Uh, was there a team time trial on this one? No. No, there was, an there was an individual one. 46 seconds. I was a minute ahead of Carapaz. The time trials are... Where are well, time trialing is one of the reasons as to why I'm currently third. If I have a chance today to win Carapa to win against Carapaz, it's gonna be thanks to a time trial. I haven't checked Damino Caruso's fitness. I'm hoping that it's gonna be good. I really am. Uh, but in the meantime, we're gonna have Marco Halla departing very soon. Uh, Harry Tanfield is in the lead. The rider from Ajax La Mondiale. I wasn't aware he had signed with Ajax de but why not? Have fun, mate. Um, Alex Kirsch is second with Harold um, Harold Tejada in third. Okay, uh, Hausler will soon be crossing the uh, checkpoints of the uh, Torricelle. And there goes Marco Halla. Uh, I'm not scared, but I am uh, anticipating uh, a very, very tactical time trial. Alright, start of Herman Panstana for us. Um, Currently, it's a win for Ineos. Filippo Ganna in the lead in Verona. Ahead of Rudy Muller and Remy Cavagna, the two Frenchmen are in the exact same second. 
Uh, I feel like it's a recurring theme uh, in this uh, in this duo to have a two and three uh, in the exact same second. There's one thing I hadn't checked yesterday. What happened? Was the gap with uh, Bernal Lemas? Okay, it's o over two minutes, so he is safe. Points wise, Domenico Caruso is safe, I believe. Yep, I am. Uh, mountain wise, Enric Mas has won has won the GC. Um, so there is nothing that can change today except for my position in the, on the podium. Will it be third? Sorry, will it be second or will it be third? I'm praying that it. I'm praying that it gets to second. I I'm genuinely praying that it comes second. He's another one of our leaders. Well, he is a good climber at least. Wetbolt is on the road. He's a better time trialist than Hermann Pensteiner, so it's going to be uh, interesting to see how he copes with the climb of uh, Torricelli. Hermann Pensteiner though in the descent. As uh, Chad Hager gets extremely close to uh, the 23.17 of Filippo Ganna, but uh, only uh, fails to overtake him for two little seconds. Hermann Pansteiner, though, across the line for uh, the Austrian in, in 500 meters now. He's at, a, he's at a Giro. Not great, not bad. He just, he was there. Well, Pulse, I'm expecting good things from him uh, in this time show. At least a better time than Mr. Pansteiner. At, uh, as Peo Bilbao will start in now four riders. The the stress is slowly, slowly starting to build up uh, in, in my chest here. I can I can genuinely feel my stomach is stressed. And here he is, the main man. The man, the myth, the legend, Damiano Caruso on course to gain, to win second place of the Giro d'Italia. If you had told me that, Prior to the start in uh in wherever we started was in in Utrecht nope no it was in Bologna of course it was in fucking Bologna I had no idea uh if you had told me that when we started I'd have signed immediately now will we be able to overtake this man the Ecuadorian Richard Carapaz that is another story Bill Bilbao about to cross the line it's currently one two three for Ineos across the line. Imagine doing all that just for Primoz Roglic to finish second. Okay. First L of the day for Jumbo Visma. Uh, there's only two teams in the top five. <laughs> I hate this team so much. Uh, let's accelerate a bit, a bit actually with uh, with Domino Carrizo. We've got time. We've got time. We've uh, we 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 no. We're fine. Actually, let's go back to 17 to 76. Um, all right. So Dumont obviously will be uh, taking first place today. Carapaz and Damiano Caruso fighting for second place of this Giro. It would be a huge W for Caruso. It would be an incredible L for Ineos with a team with Igan Bernal, with Pavel Sivakov, with Richard Carapaz not to be second of the Giro would be a massive, massive downfall for uh, the uh, British team. Steven Krovac takes fourth place in Verona. Oh, Ilno Zakarin in fourth place. All right, how about the first intermediate? Wes Caruso. Eighth time, 15 seconds behind Pavel Sivakov. Incredible time trial from Pavel Sivakov. How about Richard Carapaz? Where does he fit in? He's third. Shit. Richard Carapaz is about to walk across this time trial. Tom Dumoulin, do, I, do we even bother looking? Oh, look, it's going to be first place for Tom Dumoulin. Woohoo. Oh, 56 seconds. 56 seconds for Tom Dumoulin. Oi. Oi, 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 that's not good. Well, that's not good for him. What's happening? What is happening to Tom Dumoulin? He is, he throwing away his zero. Caruso, across the line, we're going to finish strong. Seventh, 13 seconds behind Pavel Sivakov. How about Richard Carapaz? Richard Carapaz, across the line. Third, seventh, Richard Carapaz will win. Uh, sorry, will be ahead of uh, Damiano Caruso. But what happened to this guy? What has happened to Tom Dumoulin as he crosses the line? 102, he saves his Giro. But what on earth was that performance? It's a win for Pavel Sivakov ahead of Primoz Roglic, Ron Dennis, Richard Carapaz, and Erno Zakarin. What was that from Tom Dumoulin? We saw him having a few signs of weakness yesterday during the, the Croce Daune. But he has lost nearly a minute on Richard Carapaz today. Carapaz, who comes second of the GC, ahead of Damiano Caruso, sadly. 
Lopez, Yates, Uran, Martin, Nibali, Zakarin put the Vivo to complete the top 10. Enric Mas wins the best climber classification ahead of David Formolo really easily. He, had, he has exactly twice the amount of points that Formolo has. Domenico Russo wins the um, points classification. At least that's something uh, that uh, we're going to bring home. The best in Guada, obviously, is, Enric, is uh, again Banal. The best team is the team Jumbo Visma ahead of uh, the team Ineos by 52 seconds. But what was that time trial? Uh, I don't know what's what's more in, uh, what's more surprising, the fact that Carapaz finished fourth, which genuinely triggers me. Like it, I'm honestly pissed. Why? Why? Out of all days, can't you don't can't you just have a, a shit time trial for once in your fucking life, Richard? Uh, Caruso finishes in eighth place. I'm I'm where I should be, 14 seconds behind Sivakov. But what has happened to this man? Tom Dumoulin nearly threw away his entire Giro on a time trial. If this has been if this had been like 25 kilometers, Dumoulin would have lost. This is surprising to say the least. Uh, but I mean, he he pulled through and he won. Uh, so yeah. Dumoulin wins the Giro, Carapaz, Caruso, Lopez, Yates, Uran, Martin, Nibali, Zakarin, and Puzo Vivo in 10th place. Well done, uh, nice one from uh, the, uh, the little guy, Domenico Puzo Vivo, 37 year old, to uh, bag a top 10. I'm kind of sad, if I'm honest. Uh, I, I really thought going into that time I would have been able to overtake Carapaz. I, I genuinely thought I would have been able to. But apparently not. Apparently not. Yeah, well, it happens. It's life. Pierre Bilbao in 16th place uh, with Bernal, Mass, and Madouas just behind him. Okay, uh, let me just do a quick quick thing. Uh, how many stages did we win? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six? We won six stages out of 21. That's nearly a third of the stages. I will happily take that. That's That, to me, is a... Is a very good zero for a team such as Baron McLaren, which came here with no leaders. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with what we did. Uh, and I hope you all were happy with well, this episode, my performance, and with the entire zero as a whole. Uh, if you did, though, then please, please leave a like down below. That would really, really mean a lot to me. Uh, we just crossed 800 subscribers at the time I'm recording this now. Uh, so thank you ever so much for uh, for that that's a massive gift I, you cannot physically understand how much it means to me uh, because I'm putting a lot of work into this but the results are just impressive and thank you thank you thank you thank you but yeah uh, I don't know when this is coming up coming out um, but if when it is there might be the tour of well, the UA tour at the meantime or the Volta or Algarve I don't know so in safety, I'm going to say I'm going to see you in three days for the next episode of the Baron McLaren Career Mode, which will be the Dauphiné Libéré. But uh, you might see me tomorrow, or maybe you've seen me already today, or maybe you're going to see me later today. I don't know. I have no fucking clue. And to be fair, do I really care? Mm, no. Um, but yeah, I have been back all. It has been a whopping day. Talking to you today, guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the cold, I'm bleeding. But the mother man need feeding. I don't want to go bombay. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. In the pack in black and I'm on with a bad Snapping with a phone and dab I'll stop a man with a duster Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster